guys and welcome back to my channel for all of my newbies out there my name is Tammy and on this channel we do everything lifestyle health and beauty today I am going to be today I am going to be doing a Q&A about my weight loss surgery so if you're new to my channel make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and guys give this video a thumbs up and show your girl some love today we're going to dive in deep ahead put out a little post uh, last week asking people to send me their questions or any type of topics you guys wanted me to discuss in reference to my weight loss surgery so stay tuned and let's get into these questions so I just want to do a small disclaimer if you hear any noise I have a puppy and she is always with me at all times so she is playing around um, in my beauty room right now but she just had surgery so she has a little collar on her neck so it's it can be hitting up against things so if you hear any noise that's what that is um, let me pull up these questions so I have 10 questions that I'm going to answer and I'm going to try to answer them as quickly as possible. So the first question that I received was, have my taste buds changed since I've had the surgery? For this question, I'm going to say yes and no. Um, I have lost interest in certain certain items but I I'm still able to eat any and everything that I ate before without any problems so the only thing that I really just like do not um, do now or eat or drink will be juices I used to love drinking juices I used to love sodas I hate that stuff now I rarely I rarely drink any type of juice or um, soda but I do buy the diet um, what is it it's, it's the tea it's um I will list it guys I will list it I'll put a picture of it right here so you can see it but I do drink um, that tea I get that every now and then and I also like the Minimate sugar free um, mango juice buy it very rarely like once every two months I may say oh I need something to drink um, I used to buy when they when I first had the surgery and then they would go bad because they would just sit in my refrigerator and I wouldn't drink them so other than that guys I just drink water and um, I just don't have a taste for flavored products flavored juices flavored anything liquid um, so that's the only thing as far as my taste buds but as far as food nothing like turns me away the next question is do I have cravings I do have cravings guys one of my things that I'm very afraid about is that I do have cravings um, and I do get hungry so my body will tell me when I need to eat and um, my stomach will start talking and I'm like okay I need to eat but I do have cravings especially around that time of the month I crave um, sweets and chocolate um, sometimes it's very rarely I'm a year post op and I'm gonna say within this whole year twice I have craved a soda and I've purchased um, and I've always getting the zero so I think the first time was a coke zero and I did a talked about it on one of my other VSG surgery um, videos and it burned so bad and I just had a sip and I couldn't drink it and then another time I bought one and it and believe it or not it took me like three days to drink um, the soda and by that time it, it had went flat but I don't like I don't like the acid taste so but it's but I do crave stuff so every now and then I will get a craving I do crave sweet stuff when it's that time of the month for me so yes I do get cravings guys so I have to make sure I monitor it I have to stay on top of it all the time so that I don't overdo it 
The next question was, did I lose my hair? Now guys, this was one of my biggest, 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 biggest fears with going into the surgery was um, hair loss. I am natural. I've had natural hair now for about, uh, let me see, my son is 18, for about 15 years. And before I texturized my hair, before then I was uh, four years natural before I texturized it. And now I'm almost 15 years out without putting any chemicals in my hair. So one of my biggest issues was losing my hair. And um, I can tell you guys, I did not have that problem. My hair is still the same. It's still um, the same as far as the thickness of it. Um, I've always had thin edges on my right side of my head. Nothing has changed there. I have not had any hair loss. So I'm grateful for that. Um, let's see. Do I have loose skin? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I do have loose skin. Is it a problem for me? Kind of, sort of. Um, I have, you can see it right here. I do have loose underarm. Mine's is not as bad as some people. But, so, like my arms, I have it on my legs. My stomach, not so much. I do have it on my stomach, but it's not a lot. It's very, like, you can't see it unless you, like, for real, like, looking like, oh. It just look like, um, and that could be because my stomach is not flat, flat. I still have a small pouch, but I can tell that it's not firm, if that makes any sense. It's not, like, hanging skin. It's just not firm. So, it looks a little wrinkled. Um, just like my arms. My arms is not bad, but I know what this is. Like, I know that that's loose skin. Like, my arm was more firm. Uh, and same as far as my legs. I can tell that I have loose skin. At this point, it just, it's cellulite now. Um, does it bother me? Yes. But not to the point where I'm like, oh, I hate my body. Now, the one part of my body that I hate is my breasts my breasts did deflate I do they do sag and I can tell that it's loose skin because when I put bras on and it it is wrinkled so that's the only part of the loose skin or the only part of my body that I just like ugh. But guys, you, you just gotta know that that's gonna happen. You're gonna you're gonna lose your breasts. They're gonna sag now. And when I say you're gonna lose your breasts, I'm I did not lose all of my breasts, guys. I'm still a D cup. Um, I actually wanted to lose more of my breasts. I was a double D before I had the surgery. Now I'm down to a D cup. I truly wanted to get to a C cup, but just it's just not, it it didn't happen. I've always wanted to have smaller breasts, guys. So, I know that's weird. Most people want to have bigger breasts. I always wanted to have smaller breasts. But, yeah. My breasts is the only part of my body as far as saggy skin that really turns me off. Next question. Have you noticed you are being treated differently? That's a good question. So... That's a yes and no question, a yes and no answer. I do notice that people treat me a little bit different in the aspect of shady comments, okay? I do have people um, and even friends who have made shady comments in reference to weight loss surgery. Um, but I do have a lot of support as far as friends. I do know a lot of people and I have friends and family who have went through the surgery. So they understand the process and they understand the struggles, right? But I do have people who make shady comments in reference to me having the surgery. Um, who look at me different because I've had the surgery. And, um, some people treat me better now because I look a little bit different. So... I'm going to say that's a yes and no question. Does it bother me? No. It doesn't change me. It doesn't make me feel any type of way. Um, however you think about me or what you think about 
what I did or your perspective on it, I could care less. Long as my husband supports me and he's 100% ride or die, it don't matter how people treat me. Long as they don't disrespect me. How about that? Okay, next question. What is the hardest part of the process? The hardest part of the process for me is consistency. Um, a lot of people think you had surgery, it's easy. You, you took the easy route. That's not true. And I'm, I'm going to tell you 100%. It is a lifelong process. Okay? You can gain your weight back if you do not continue doing the stuff that you're supposed to do. The surgery was just a stepping stone. Okay, the surgery, I look at the surgery like a diet. You have to continue to do it all the time. Or, you know how you get off your diet? You gain weight back, it's the same thing. So, I have to continually watch what I'm eating. I have to continually work out because especially now i'm at this stage right now that i am not losing weight so i'm technically you can say that i'm at the weight that i'm going to be unless i physically push myself and motivate myself to continue to do other things to lose more weight okay so the hardest part of the process is to stay consistent stay consistent don't give into your cravings don't um, say, oh, it's okay, I'm going to eat this today and do better tomorrow. I do that, guys. And I have to slap myself on the wrist and be change. It's, it's your mindset. That's the hardest part is changing your mindset and sticking to the process. Okay? The surgery, that wasn't hard. Next question. How long was recovery? So, recovery was really easy for me. Um, I And I think I had my surgery the best part of time. I had my surgery at the beginning of the pandemic. So, I had took off for two weeks. She doesn't want to be in here with me anymore. Hold on. So I think I was blessed because I got my surgery right at the peak of the pandemic. Um, so I originally took two weeks off of work, but the day after I had my surgery was when the city shut down. So I didn't have to use any vacation time because our office was technically closed. The city was closed, so we couldn't go back to work. So I, I didn't have to use time because everybody was off. But it only took me... I'm going to say I could have went back to work a week after my surgery. Because by day three, I was up moving around. I didn't have any pain. Um, no soreness. I didn't have gas pains. I didn't start having gas pains until my eighth month. But I didn't have any type of complications, any type of gas pains or anything like that. So, yeah, if you go back to my early videos, you will see my first week of my post-op and my pre-op video, which was my first week of surgery. You will see that I was up and I was at the track um, day three. So, my recovery was, to me, was pretty easy. I didn't have, I could have went back to work within a week. I'm a year out and I still haven't been back to work, guys. So, yeah, that was, as far as recovery, that was, it was easy for me. The next question, have you or do you need any plastic surgery? I have not had any plastic surgery. Do I want to have plastic surgery? Yes. I do want to have plastic surgery, um, one, because I told you guys I do not like my, the, the loose skin on my breasts. Um, when I try to use like broad tape and stuff like that, I feel like, um, my breasts don't sit up the way that they used to. So I love my breasts. I don't want to get them done. I would like to have a whole 360 light bulb with a, um, mommy makeover. So I would like to get like the 
excess fat and cellulite from out of my thighs removed and maybe like some of this so my stomach my thighs and my breasts is like my main areas that I would want to get done if I can surgery is expensive I don't think it will I will get it done especially not no time soon um, unless I hit the lottery but if I, if I had the money, that's what I would get. I would definitely get my thighs done, my legs, and I would get my breasts done and um, have my stomach flat. I think that's what everybody wants, every female anyway. <laughs> if they had the choice, they could do it. But yeah, so um, am I opposed to it? No. If I had the money, will I do it? Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to be hon I'm gonna be honest with you guys, 100. Let's see. Next question. How do alcohol make you feel and how much can you drink? I've always had a high tolerance to alcohol. So let me just start off by saying that. I've always had a high tolerance to alcohol. Can I get drunk fast? Yes. Do I drink a lot? No. Why? Um, one, I don't have a taste for it. I told you guys, I really don't have a taste for anything other than water. Once in a blue moon, once every two to three months, I may have a drink. I may crave a drink. I may just want a drink. And I will have to drink that drink and I can't have anything else. So most times, excuse me guys, most times when I go out to restaurants, when I go out to eat with my husband or with my girlfriends, I will get a drink, but I try to eat my food first before I drink the drink. Because if I drink the alcohol, I won't be able to eat my food. If that makes any sense. So, I don't I don't drink like that. Once in a blue moon. Um, but, do I get super drunk? No. I don't. I don't see the difference. I don't see... I don't feel any difference than before I had surgery. But I didn't get super drunk before I had the surgery. So alcohol never really affected me like that. I know my tolerance. So, yeah. Um, I could take it or leave it now. But I wasn't a heavy drinker before. I was a social drinker. So, yeah. So that, I mean, I don't... I guess I answered that question. The last question on my question list is, do I have any regrets? I kind of have regrets. I do. I do have regrets. I, I do regret sometimes, um, I regret that I can't binge eat. Sometimes I want to binge eat. Sometimes I just want to eat whatever the heck I want to eat. And I don't want to think about, oh, this is high um, carbs. Um, Oh, I can't have that. I can't. I, I shouldn't eat that. Sometimes I want to eat bread, guys. Like, I just be like, you know what? I want a sandwich. But every time I think, every time I want to eat something, I be like, oh, don't eat that because the calories. Like, I, again, like I stated, it is a mindset. It is a lifestyle. So any and everything that I eat, I'm constantly always thinking about the pros and cons about eating it. That's a regret that I have. I miss having those not care what I eat and eating whatever the heck I want. I miss being able to run to Walgreens and I'm going to pick me up a Snickers bar because I want it. Um, I do miss drinking juices. So I do also, another thing that I regret is that when I go out to eat, especially with my husband, I always feel like I'm picking my food, picking with my food. I feel like I'm eating like a kid. I hate the fact that I'm always, always, always going to have me to go um, plate because three bites and then I'm done. So I do regret that. I can't enjoy food. I used to enjoy eating. I used to enjoy food. I don't enjoy food as much as I used to. So that is a regret. Um, would that have, do that make me wish I never got the surgery? Heck no. I'll get the surgery over and over again. Like, I, this was the best decision that I made. So, that 
it, it, it doesn't, it don't weigh more. My regrets don't weigh more. Um, but yeah, I do regret not being able to enjoy food. That when I look at food now, I get an anxiety about how many pounds is it going to um, give me. And when I tell you I get an anxiety, sometimes I'll eat stuff and I'll get on a scale just to see how much did it make me gain. And I tell my husband, like, he always say it's in my head. I'd be like, oh, I gained two pounds from eating this meal. I hate that. So that is like a regret that I'm always constantly, like, my anxiety is high about food. Because I am so petrified that I'm going to gain the weight back. Like, that is like my biggest nightmare is that I'm going to gain the weight back. So that is like the only regret is that I don't enjoy food. But I can live with that. I, I can live with that. What the results, where I'm at in life, what I can do, um, where I'm trying to go, the end goal to be able to donate a kidney, that not enjoying food don't weigh more than the positive that I'm going to do once I lose these next 10 pounds, guys. So, I hope that answered all the questions that you guys had for me um if you have a question that i didn't answer or some, a topic that i did not cover please leave a comment down below guys and i will answer those questions for you guys i want to thank each and every one of you guys for all the support that you have gave me along this journey as i stated earlier this journey is not easy this journey is not for the weak of hearts it is a everyday battle. Every day I wake up in the morning, it is a battle to do right, to eat right, to live right. Okay? So I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for continuing to encourage me, for just motivating me, for pushing me. I had people push me and tell me, you need to do what you're supposed to do. I appreciate all of that, all the tough love, guys, because I would not be able to do it without you. So, thank you, guys. And again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And, guys, let's just talk about it down in the comments. And much love, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.